Hey everybody, Jonathan Kadish from Aquaponics NYC. Today I'm going to show you a couple of things. First, I'm going to show you how I balance the pH of my system using uh, eggshells as a buffer. And I'm also going to show you how I quiet my siphon when it's draining and show you how that benefits the aeration of my tank. It's kind of a unique device I invented and I wanted to share it with you guys. Okay, first let's take a look at what's going on in the system. So these are my tomato plants, which are pretty much going nuts. Once again, these are dwarf tomato plants. They're only supposed to be between 6 and 12 inches. And uh, I think now in the back I have some that are up to 18 inches. So we have lots of flowers going on. And lots of tomatoes coming in. All right, let's talk about the pH and how we balance it. As you know, in aquaponics, our bacteria are constantly bringing our pH down, acidifying the water. So we need a way to counterbalance that. Uh, typically, in hydroponic situations, they use this product, which is pH up. And this is uh, mostly potassium carbonate. As we can see here, if we turn it around, we can see it's potassium carbonate and potassium silicate. I know potassium carbonate is also used in a lot of aquaponics uh, systems, so this is probably a safe product, but it's also an expensive product. So what I've done to replace that, I haven't used that in several months, what I've done to replace that is in this cup. So in the bottom of this cup, you can see there are eggshells down there. And those eggshells have been sitting down there for months. And you can see my water just empties out into these little cups. I have this cup, and I have this cup over here. So these two cups contain the eggshells from about seven or eight eggs. And these have kept my 100 liter system, about 26 gallons, it has kept my system at a balanced pH of seven. And I haven't needed to add any pH up to my system. So that's how I'm handling my pH and keeping all my organisms happy. So you're all well aware of siphons and how they start off and they trickle and then eventually they kick in and start draining. Just like that. Well, as you can hear, they're noisy. They splash water around. They do aerate the system. As you can see, the air bubbles going in, and the fish are enjoying those air bubbles. But that noise after a period of time can be quite annoying, especially in an apartment situation. And you can see the water splashing around, some of it's leaving the tank. Other parts of it are ending up here on the uh, window, and that actually creates for more evaporation and more water loss. So I'm going to show you my technique for avoiding uh, this splashing around and this noise and also conserving water but still aerating the tank. Okay so here's what I do to silence my siphon drain as well as provide aeration at the same time. I keep that aer aeration going uh, from the regular drain that makes noise. So if you if you buy this type of pump, this is an eco pump, if you buy this type of pump you're gonna get it in a package, take the pump out, you're gonna get a package like this of all different kinds of fittings. In this package is a barbed fitting like this and it's basically a three-quarter inch to three-quarter inch and we're going to use this to make a fitting to our drain. So we take it 
You take a T. This is a threaded three quarter inch to slip joint, one inch. And then I'm taking a pipe here. This is a one inch PVC pipe. And I just fit those in there. And so this is the completed fitting. Now I'm going to put this onto the hose, that's my drain, and we're going to hear how much more quiet the siphon drain is. So to put in, I'm simply going to slip the tube in here, and I'm going to tighten it up into the tube so that it's relatively tight, and it just sits in there like that. Here's a little bit closer view of it. And if you look down to the bottom, you'll see that the pipe is cut to a length so that it's about one inch above, in this case maybe an inch and a half, above the bottom of the aquarium tank. So there goes the siphon drain. A little bit of water comes up the top and then it just drains down the long tube under the surface and what do you know there's a whole bunch of bubbles coming out of the bottom so I think what's happening here is a, is a type of venturi effect that air is getting sucked down with the water to the bottom of the pipe and that's providing aeration to the fish and they're all nice and happy. As you can see also I have this pipe down here and that's my return back to the fish tank off of my pump. So back there you can see that that uh, pipe goes back up to the grow bed but it tees off here and I have a valve right there to control the flow both to the grow bed and to this pipe down here. Now why does that have bubbles coming out of it? Well, I'm going to show you how I get aeration from that. When you get your pump, go ahead and take the housing off here, like that, and you'll see that there's this extra piece here. Uh, we don't know what that's for, so we'll get rid of it. Uh, and then we also notice that inside of uh, the housing here, there's a filter. In aquaponics, we don't use this in a, in a regular um, aquarium setup. You'd use this and clean it out on a regular basis, but we don't need it. So then that leaves you with the housing and the pump here. So we're going to take this fitting that they give to us. As you can see, it's got a uh, small little nub on the top. And that is basically, uh, it's an inlet. So we're going to take this and we're going to screw this into the inlet of the pump. Just like that. And then we're going to take a piece of air hose and we're going to fit that on top of the inlet. This can be kind of tricky. Get on, but there you go. So what that what this does is as the water is being sucked into the pump from here, it's also sucking air in from the uh, hose here. And this will hang outside of the pump. So the water and the, uh, and the air get mixed in here and go through an, up to the grow bed and if you have a return valve to to regulate the flow to the grow bed it gets returned to the fish tank as well. So this is what uh, allows some additional aeration to our fish tank. Now obviously this isn't going to work like that so we're going to have to drill a hole through the top of the housing here and thread this hose through it. So here is an image of the tube going through the top of the housing, drill the hole in it, and the tube goes up and out of the tank. And I have the tube sitting down here on the floor. 
So this tube is where the air is getting sucked in from. And you'll see is if I take this tube and I close off the air supply, the bubble stop. I open it up, the bubble start again. So that's my little tip. Um, I haven't seen that done anywhere else, so maybe of use to you. Let me know if it is. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll be having updates on a regular basis. And also, I'll be covering any aquaponics stuff going on in the New York City area. So, until later, Aquaponics New York City. This is Jonathan Kadish signing out.